Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's hop right in to this week's DIYs. For this first step, I'm taking one of the mats and I'm folding it in half. I'm keeping a tight grip on these because these are a little hard to hold in place. My fingers alone didn't fold this the way I wanted them to, so I'm using my silver sharpie to make the sides as flat as possible. I'm using this foam board so I can trace and cut out the base to my projects. The left side is hanging off just to keep my mat in place while I trace it, but the foam piece will still fit directly in the center. I'm just using a ruler to connect the lines since I was unable to get inside the mat. I'm tracing and then cutting out three more foam pieces. So I have four pieces all together and I'm using my sander to sand the sides to make them as smooth as possible. I'm using a combination of E6000 glue and hot glue to adhere two of the foam pieces together. I'm pressing the sides firmly and if you are following along, you should have something that looks like this. I'm decorating with these butterfly wooden shapes and I took my pieces outside. I laid them on top of pieces of clear tape so when I get ready to spray paint them, they don't fly away and I'm using the wooden blocks to make my mats more sturdier. Now I'm spray painting one silver and then the other gold. I'm not focused on spray painting the inner part, just the edges. I'm gluing a total of nine wood blocks together. I'm gluing them right in the center and that will help keep my mat from caving in. I'm only adding E6000 glue and a small amount of it to all my butterflies and that way I will be able to reposition them if needed. I'm trying my best to glue them as close together as possible. This part was time consuming, so just beware if you are going to recreate this, you do need a lot of patience. You can also try finding some bigger butterflies to save some time. I'm 
I'm adding these rhinestone gems that I purchased from Dollar Tree to add a touch of glam. I'm only gluing the gems to some of the butterflies. Once I was done with this part, I removed any excess glue strings and then I added two LED push lights. This is the inspiration photo that I seen on Pinterest that inspired me to make this project. It's not an exact match, but I'm loving my version of it. And if you are going to recreate this, please do not use LED lights. Just look at what a difference the LED lights has made. It does not look right at all, but comment below and let me know what you think. Now let's get started on project number two. I did the exact same thing as I did for project number one, and I'm decorating with the silver metallic sticker letters that I purchased from Dollar Tree. These are self-adhesive, but I recommend adding a little glue to make them stick better. I had no particular pattern. I was just simply placing the letters anywhere. I'm using the metallic gold stickers as well. I thought I could get away with just sticking these on the mat, but as soon as I flipped it over, they start falling off. So that's why I am now adding E6000 glue. I'm really loving the uniqueness of this project, although I didn't do much to it. And the E6000 glue is holding up pretty well on these letters. And both projects looks way better without the LED lights. But comment below and let me know what y'all think. <laughs> 